Welcome to Black Onyx, where we hope to keep you better informed about investing. With me today is Jonti Osha and Dina Zakolo from Westbrook Alternative Asset Management, here to discuss their Section 12J funds. Gentlemen, thank you for joining me today. Thanks, Thanks. good to be here. Thanks. Tell me a bit about yourselves and how you got into the industry. Sure, so my name is Dino Zakolo. I'm a CA by trade, uh, primarily with an investment banking corporate finance background. I formerly spent a number of years at Investec, where I worked in the corporate finance team, and before that uh, at Deloitte, both in the United States and formerly in the Joburg office. I moved across to Westbrook to look after some of the business's asset-backed strategies. Uh, those include two products within the Section 12J business that have a focus around uh, student accommodation and then a hotel offering in Cape Town, as well as a multifamily residential offering which is focused on the United States. I'm John T. Osher, I'm also CEO by trade. Um, I'm also ex-investment banking, more in the credit space. Uh, I did my articles at First Rand and then went on into RMB where I spent five years. I moved across to Westbrook to join the 12J business mainly focused on our strategy ARIA, which is a rental fund strategy, a rental movable asset strategy, and then also the, the capital hospitality strategy. What is the history of Westbrook Alternative Asset Management? Sure, so Westbrook was a business that was founded originally in the early 2000s, primarily initially as what we call a principal investments business. So sort of like private equity, the major difference being that where in private equity often third party capital is brought in, our principal investments business was only focused on investing effectively our shareholders and management's money. Um, and to date, that business is a very large private equity business in the South African space. It's about a four billion rand turnover business and includes the likes of Curry Craft, Volpe's, Dialabed and a few others. Um, but fast forward a few years in sort of the early 20, in early 2012, what we found in the business was that a lot of the opportunities that our shareholders and management come across or came across at the time were better suited to a third party asset management business than simply being a principal on balance sheet investment product. And so that's really the genesis of all of the products at Westbrook is they were originally things that we were invested in ourselves. We realized that this could potentially be attractive to a third party investor which then became what is now known as Westbrook Alternative Asset Management. John T will talk you through exactly what sits within the alternative asset management business, but they really are all products where we are significantly invested ourselves and where there is some form of a unique angle which we're able to give investors, be it related to tax, Section 12J, or giving South African investors some form of exposure to an offshore investment that you wouldn't ordinarily find and that's not normally or exposed to the traditional returns from debt and property markets. Westbrook Alternative Asset Management, as Dino said, focuses on alternative strategies. Um, and in that regard, our product offering is kind of in four pillars or silos as, as we see it. The first, which is the longest running product in the stable, is a special opportunities fund that focuses on small and mid-sized listed companies where they can take a significant stake and extract some value from that or event driven returns. We then have the 12J space, which we have four 12J products, um, mainly across hotel keeping, student accommodation, hospitality in Cape Town and movable asset rental. We have then two offshore focused funds. Um, the UK, we focus on private debt. So we have a private debt fund at our UK office. And then, as Dino mentioned, um, he looks after a fund that focuses on multifamily residential property in the US. So I think just to echo what Dino said, it really is um, products designed for, for investors where they're looking for uncorrelated type returns to traditional equity and property markets within South Africa. 